Welcome back to Mason Talks. So today, I wanted to talk about the curious case of Marcus Santos Silva. Now, if you haven't already heard the story of Santos Silva, he was a college basketball player for both the VCU Rams and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. And just this past year, his collegiate basketball career came to a close. And then in the past couple of days, he ended up signing a free agent contract to play tight end for the Cleveland Browns. Now, this is not anything necessarily that far out of the ordinary for the National Football League. We have seen former college basketball players transition to the NFL multiple times, and there have been times that it's worked out really well. Tony Gonzalez played basketball and football at the University of California. He was a first-round pick at the tight end position, and he's one of the greatest tight ends to ever play football. Jimmy Graham, who, of course, played basketball at the University of Miami, he was a third-round pick uh, into the NFL, and he, of course, has ended up being a a very good uh, tight end at the professional level. And then even when you look at defense, Julius Peppers, who, of course, is one of the best defensive ends ever— played college basketball for UNC and he ended up being like the number two overall pick in I think it was the 2002 NFL draft. So playing basketball in college and then transitioning to the NFL, it's happened before and those guys have ended up being, you know, very successful. But unlike Tony Gonzalez or Jimmy Graham or Julius Peppers, Marcus Santos Silva never played a down of college football. In fact, he hasn't played the game of football in uh, since his, his his freshman year in high school. So, you want to talk about a a truly raw prospect that is what you're getting in Marcus Santos Silva. I mean, you know, a long freshman year of high school and then he played, you know, college basketball for for, you know, 5 years. That's a long time ago. But when you look at, if you go and watch his basketball highlights, you can see exactly what Andrew Barry and Kevin Stefanski were probably seeing because he is gigantic. Marcus Santos Silva is six foot seven. He weighs 250 pounds and he looks like a football player. He looks like the type of football player who could dominate. He is that big. And coming to the NFL, that size, of course, will give him an advantage. And the one comparison that people like to jump to right off the bat would be with Antonio Gates, you know, future, you know, Hall of Fame tight end Antonio Gates, because much like Marcus Santos Silva, Antonio Gates didn't play college football. He played basketball for Kent State University and he had good enough size came to the NFL and then for some reason he had you know like glue hands his entire career and he ended up being one of the best tight ends ever so you know you can look at Antonio Gates and say well you don't necessarily need college football experience to end up being a you know productive player in the National Football League but Another tight end who people don't like to to bring the comparison up, you know, as much because it's not necessarily as uh, glamorous is former Browns tight end Demetrius Harris, because Demetrius Harris also didn't play college football. Um, He played basketball at Mineral Area College as well as the University of Milwaukee, and he's come to the NFL and had a solid career. I mean, he played for the Kansas City Chiefs for you know uh, multiple years. He played for the Cleveland Browns. He played for the Chicago Bears. He's now with the Arizona Cardinals. And Demetrius Harris was able to transition from college basketball and have a, 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 a solid career at the professional football level. But he wasn't Antonio Gates. He he didn't have that that type of rise that Antonio Gates had from basketball to one of the best tight ends ever. So... When you look at Marcus Santos Silva, there really is no 
surefire answer as to what he's going to be. He could not even make it to training camp. He could call it quits before then. He could be a training camp cut. He could possibly make the roster and be a backup tight end. Nobody truly knows. I don't think he's going to be Antonio Gates because, you know, as it's as it's you know easy to forget, Antonio Gates was a pretty good uh, football player coming out of college. He had you know scholarship offers to multiple universities. He was going to play for Michigan State for for head coach Nick Saban at the time, but he decided he wanted to play basketball at Kent State. So it's not like Antonio Gates was a pure you know basketball player. I mean, he could have played college football for for Nick Saban and Michigan State and he would have been you know successful at that probably would have been um you know a draft a higher you know a drafted player actually instead of going undrafted to the Chargers but again who knows maybe Marcus Santos Silva could come in and and surprise the entire nation That, that that's exactly why this is a a curious case because when basketball players do this they come to the the National Football League you can't ever really rule them out if they have good size, good athleticism, and are able to to you know learn how to catch the ball and learn how to actually build those fundamentals that you need to to you know play football. So I don't know. He could be a good player. He could be Demetrius Harris. He could be absolutely nothing, and cut before we even get anywhere close to the regular season. But. This is at least going to be a storyline to watch as the Browns start to head closer and closer to training camp and to the start of their season. What's going to happen with Marcus Santos Silva? Let me know in the comments. Do you think he will be anything? Do you think he will make the Cleveland Browns final roster? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for listening to the Mason Talk Sports Show. I will see you in my next episode. Goodbye.